thousands of astronomers searched the heavens for a sign of extraterrestrial life, but we never knew what hit us. The initial attack was worldwide and devastating. While we surfed the internet and waited in line for our soy lattes, they needed only one thing to survive. Our blood. But as they harvested, there was something they hadn't planned on. We fought back. All the world's armies, all the Earth's inhabitants, right down to the smallest microbe, joined together to drive them back where they'd come from. And then it was over. We were left to rebuild. But for some, the nightmare had just begun. Dad, nothing. I gotta hear the bass at all times. You know the rules. Same old talk. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah is right, but you got the batteries halfway full. Good job. Hey, Dad, do you have to work tonight? Oh, I gotta work tonight. I gotta work tomorrow night. I gotta work every night, son. You know that. Happy birthday, Dad. What? I've been marking off the days, and today's the seventh, so happy birthday. Where'd you get this? Scrounging. Scrounging?
scrounging. What did I tell you about scrounging? I don't want you leaving the property without me. How am I supposed to surprise you if you're always there? Nothing's gonna happen well, to me. Nothing's gonna happen to you. How do you know The only that? thing that I'm in danger of is getting bored to death. Alex, thank you for remembering my birthday. But you have to understand that you're the only thing I have left. I know. I'm gonna go make some dinner. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you. Morning, Dad. I thought I'd make breakfast, pan beans again, but we can pretend they're pancakes. Alex, get off the bike and get in the safety. Chips? Stale. Got your soda you've been saving. Stale chips and a warm soda. It sounds like you're ready for a party. I could go with you. We already talked about that. I don't know what's out there. Okay, I want you to wait here for me. It's dark in here and it's freezing. You just keep your coat on. You keep your two matches, okay? Don't let that candle go out. Set the alarm for eight hours, and I'll be back before that thing goes off, I promise you. <laughs> You're a good man. Sixteen. Which 
Torch. How are you, Nate? Good to see you. George, have you met Victoria? Victoria Reed. Nice to meet you. Vicky worked for NASA when there was a NASA. She was next in line for a shuttle mission when the invasion happened. She's been helping us decode the walker language. How's that? After the first invasion, we captured one of their squid walkers. We've been deciphering it ever since. We've been able to apply substitution ciphers and have a good sense of things, but what we're missing is the key. Well, you better start working fast. Why's that? I think the walkers are back. We have CME outbursts here, here, and here. But the interesting thing is this displacement of matter just outside of Earth's magnetic pole. When did your data show this? About four days ago. What are you saying? A vortex is emerging? A shift in matter. The Schwarzschild effect. Possibly. What's that? It's a traversable hole that collapses both time and space. It's a theory. Well, so is extraterrestrial life, but... We did a lot of simulated tests before the shuttle went up. None of them included a wormhole. What does it do? Basically, it gets you from point A to point B in imperceptible time jumps. So you can get from, say, here to Mars in... A nanosecond. Exactly. Which would explain why we never saw the first invasion coming. Exactly. The night of the invasion, NASA had nothing. No readings, no indication until it already happened. And I confirmed my speculation when I registered Gaussian noise on my radio What system. was your DC component? Batteries. Then you're making a big assumption. Well, that's why I'm here. You guys have the equipment. I don't. We could mask the sound and isolate the frequencies. Victoria, why don't you check that out? Sure. If there's an intelligent pattern, I'll find it. Victoria seems to know what she's talking about. George. You should be working here, with us. Moving in the compound, you and Alex, you'll be safer here. We have other kids. We even have a school. Think about it. We could use you. Come here, I want to show you something. This is Selma Ritter. The walkers died in the first invasion through a virus. We've been experimenting with different types, creating a concoction of sorts. Does she know? She created it. She used to work for us. The virus is the key. We're pretty sure that's what'll take them out. Follow me. This is what's left of our front line of defense, the fleet. They look like F-22s. Augmented with their technology. How's that possible? Victoria created a diagrammatic cipher that's allowed us to, well, steal from the Squidwalker technology. We've been retrofitting these fighters to handle space flight, amongst other things. It's their current altitude range. Well, that's the big issue. We know that these fighters can reach the edge of the mesosphere, but we can't be sure about them breaking through into the exosphere. You need to remap the cipher. Right. And the answer lies within the Squidwalker. We know that there's a field that protects them when they do break through into the exosphere. There's one more thing I need to show you. So that thing's... Yeah. It's dead. Dead? It was alive? We believe so. The ship was a life force? Cyberbiotics. It's unlike anything we've ever seen. We've been stealing more of their technology from this ship. She's sure it's dead. God, I hope so. Victoria's in there. Come on, let's go save her. I believe this is a holding cell of sorts. When the invasion first occurred, we had eyewitnesses that said that people were being taken into the belly of the ship. What happened after that? Well... Gentlemen, I want you to see this. Well, where are we now? This is the control center, like a cockpit. No windows, no fixed geometry? Correct, except I noticed this extension leading to a vortex generator. Oh, so I thought. What we're really looking at is a UHF frequency modulator. Well, comparatively speaking. Well, like a transmitter? Right. It communicates from the mothership to these walkers using our satellites as beacons. 
I've known for a while now that the walkers transmit using a complex orthogonal string of numbers, but up until now, my team hasn't been able to translate a thing. However, once I fed in the algorithms from your radio frequency, Mr. Herbert, I discovered a cipher. Watch this. I'll be damned. Look what the cat drug in. Hello, sir. George, good to see you. How's Felicity? Oh, sorry, George. Alex? Oh, he's... he's well. He's growing like a weed. That's great. I met George here after the invasion. We bunked for a short while at Blackwater. Hell of a family. I'm glad to hear Alex is okay. Thank you, sir. We think we found the key. I've calculated the trajectory patterns. I believe I've located the source for the next attack. There is a possible entry for an Einstein-Rosen bridge. A time jump? This is a printout from my telescope. It represents about 400 square miles. This was last week. Take a look at this. This is four days ago. Now this here, is it a sunspot or a solar flare? That, I believe, is a mothership. Thus, the time jump. What about these tiny dots? He's suggesting that they are smaller ships coming from the parent. You got any way of checking this out? We've been working on repairing our satellite connection to the Hubble Space Telescope. Still seems to be functioning up there. We could point it in this direction, see if we can find anything. Let's do that. I've got a gut feeling about this. George, why don't you stay here on ground and help us coordinate our efforts with Dr. Gorman? I'd like to, but I have to get home to Alex. Bring him on base. In the meantime, I want you to get that telescope up and running. Vicky, get my ships fueled and ready ASAP. Excuse me. I need some fuel. Okay, thanks. I'm just here for the gas. In fact, I ran out just a few miles back. You guys are saving me right now. What you got? A uh, couple weeks worth of food coupons.
Four coupons? Three gallons. Three gallons? That's gotta be worth at least ten gallons. Ten? Ten gallons? <laughs> look. Okay, look. You wanna throw in your watch? I'll make it four gallons. I don't have anything. I guess today ain't your lucky day. Give him three gallons. <laughs> Rick and Rob. Have a nice day. I'm not your fucking Job. You can't just take my wife and my kid and my life and leave me here. I set my watch. Can I set the alarm for eight hours? And I'll be back before that thing goes off, I promise you. Nothing is gonna happen to me. I'm so sorry, Alan. said that people were being taken into the belly of the ship. What happened after that?
Dead, after you thought. We're alive. For now, yes. Accept what is and be grateful. My son. I find my son. You didn't run, man. I told you to run. You should have seen, dude. Face that sucker down. Thanks for trying. I thought you got away. Naughty. They got me anyway. longer. She's going as fast as she can, but we need to work on a plan B. There is no plan B. The plan is to go after the parent ship. You can't get those birds over 150 kilometers, and you know it. We, you have to get at least 600 kilometers before you even get a whiff of this thing. I can if she'll work faster. Stingray. <sighs> Sir. Talk to me. We're getting our bearings, but we'll make it. We've loaded nerve pulmonary and vesicant agents on the MC-1. Some even have mustard gas. How many of these are already loaded? Each ship has five. Viruses? Yeah. Stingray, I'll meet you down there shortly. Yes, sir. We should probably figure out a ground assault. We should probably tell her to work faster. in the codex. The fighter should be up in a minute. Let's hope George's coordinates work. Do you see anything? Are the ships moving? Okay, hold steady. They're up, they're up.
was that? Sonic boom, sir. From what? From them. They've entered our atmosphere. Major, tell Vicky we need this fleet in the air ASAP. If these bandits find us still on the ground, they could decimate every ship before She's even airborne. She's on it, but it may be too late. Why? What happened? We're getting them caught in. Reports are coming in from everywhere, worldwide. The attack has begun. sequence. Begin and launch sequence. Okay, listen up. This is Alpha. We're gonna make a run at the mothership is sitting right outside our atmosphere. We believe if we can get to the mother, the rest will fall. For most of us, this is gonna be a one-way ticket, but it's not always the biggest dog that wins the fight. Fortune favors the bold. So let's put a rock in our sling and go get these bastards. Good luck, man. Vicky, you ready?
Is this my blood? Is this thing beating off us? Well, I hope you choke on my shit! Just to follow her. Follow her where? I don't know, but we can't stay here. Wait, I think I have something. No, frown. Reforce, where are we? They're at 20 kilometers. We've got 80 clicks before the fleet reaches the Messersphere. Has Victoria got the key to work yet? Not yet, Alpha. Our ships need that protection to break through the Messersphere or we'll all disintegrate. Keep working on the key. They have to break out of the atmosphere. Satellites are picking up at least two dozen of their incoming ships. Sir, permission to fire. Alpha, no firing. Save your weapons for the mothership. This is Alpha. Listen up. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. <laughs> before they hit 100 kilometers. The is 40 and climbing. 20 minutes. Stay down for another 20 minutes. I can't give you 20 minutes. My men are dying being this close to the ground. We have to go now. I'm coming back around. Stingray, stay on target. Stingray, we're too close now. Focus. to the mesosphere. We have to go now. They broke the thermosphere. They're at 95 kilometers. Get through. We made it through. See, now that wasn't 
so hard now, was it? Alpha, thank God you're alive. Do you have a visual on the mothership yet? Come again, base. The mothership. Do you see the mothership? Affirmative base. We have visual. This is big. This is Alpha. Prepare to attack the mothership. What is that? That light, it's getting bigger. Face, do you see this? A uh, deep brain is opening. Deep brain? It's, it's an open strain, look. There's a, a tachyon particle mass erupting. Spreading. Sir, it's a time hole. What happened? Where is everyone? Quick, write down this world line. Z at 300. Y at negative 483. X at 59. 65 degrees. What's that? That is why boys just time jumped. My God. To where? My guess is to wherever the mothership just went. Baby, <laughs> we made it. We on planet Earth, man. We never left the planet. <laughs> we made it outside. Something doesn't feel right. <laughs> you know where it didn't feel right? That damn blood-sucking motherfucking ship. That didn't feel right. Where you going? Find that girl that saved us. She did that, she can find that ship again. Oh, good thinking. Now that we're out, it makes perfect sense for us to go back to that nightmare. Why don't you just go your own way? I don't want to waste your time, all right? What, are you breaking up with me? I'm just saying, it's my fight. Your fight? Your fight? Really? Because last I looked, these tripods had wiped out most of my people in the 23rd. Hell, last time this happened, my girl got zapped. You think I don't miss holding my girl's hand? Talking to my brother? Talking to my mom? Your fight? Please. Dude, this isn't just about you and finding your son. It's got to be bigger than that. For me, it's only about finding my kid. I know this. I've seen this, man. You got post-traumatic syndrome. You need to start dealing with reality, man. My bad, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man, wait up. Wait up, homie. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I probably got that stress syndrome with damn so. Earth-based to Major Kramer in the command ship. Come in, please. Nothing. Son of a bitch.
shit. Look at this. Ha! Ah, we gonna be riding in style. Air conditioning. Maybe we can find something out on the radio. We have key. Dead battery. More than one way to skin this cat. This is Alpha. Anybody read me? This is Alpha. Is anybody out there? Alpha. Oh, Stingray. Thank God. Alpha. This is Squid Killer. What the hell was that? We just time jumped. I thought that shit was made up. Sir, is that Mars? Affirmative. Let me get a status report. Fuel cells are 25% functional, sir. Okay. I want all ships to maintain their current position. I'm gonna move in and see what we're up against. Roger that, Alpha. Shit pumped me full of crap. I don't feel so good, man. Wait, wait, wait. Man, I need to get some water. I'm dying of thirst. This isn't gonna work. What? We need a plan. I. We've got to try to get up on a rooftop or something. Scan the area. See, see where we are. Look, you stay here, okay? I'll be back in a minute. All right. That's a good idea. I'll stay here. Cause I'm tired. You all coming back, ain't you? That ship might have just sucked everybody up, George. It might just be me and you. Damn, I'm tired. I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for a 10-year-old little boy. His name's Alex. I know Alex. You, you do? He's daddy. He... What? He was my brother. He, he died with my daddy. He's in heaven now. I'm so sorry. Actually, she found me. No, we have to go. We have to go. What's the word? Rare. Rare. Oh, oh my God, George. George, George, it's a very strong name. You'll help us. Us? 
Come on, we have to go. You see that on her face? Is that contagious? How long is this fool gonna have us out here waiting? Only two. There were more. Some got lost and some didn't follow, and I'm sorry, I did the best I could. You did good. You did good, sissy. Yeah, you did good. But only <laughs> two. We can double our numbers. Very brave. Let me see them. George, this is Pete. Shackelford. There any others? Used to be. Now it's just Sissy and I. Walkers? You must be thirsty. The filtering process can leave a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, you ain't kidding. How about something with a little kick? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> Filtering process? The squids know after the first invasion that the, the microbes in our blood are lethal to them. But the blood itself is crucial to their survival. The answer is to homogenize the blood. They've been experimenting since the first invasion on the best way to do that. Most of the captured are drained and the blood stored until the process can be perfected. Others are, uh, kept alive, experimented on. Others? Children. Children. Oh, damn. Not half bad. It takes some getting used to. Synthetic. Moonshine? Mm -hmm. Kind of. We, we make everything around here. Why is that? No resources. Hard to get things when you're stuck on Mars. Anybody else getting a freak show out there? Roger that. Oh, Stingray to Alpha. Something's pulling me. Yeah, roger that, Stingray. Me too. What the hell's going on? Looks like we're just gonna take this war to them. Rover sending pictures back at this place. Yeah, whatever disease you two have is messing with your thinking. Technically, you're still on the ship. But the ship itself is on Mars. I call this place a Petri dish. The squid's built it to recreate the viruses. So what? It's like a hamster cage. Exactly. And we just refuse to run on the wheel. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. So, we're definitely not on Earth. I haven't been on Earth in two years. <laughs> two years? They captured us during the first invasion. I assume there were others. I, <laughs> I slipped through the cracks. Sissy here was their guest for quite a while. <laughs> Hey, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing?
right, let's just lay low. Something tells me we're only gonna get one chance at this. On your mark, sir. <clears throat> Kills the pain. It's killing your brain cells. I understand it's difficult to wrap your mind around, but... Sissy can show you. No! No, I don't want to go back! Unpleasant memories. Case, do you? I gotta go find out. Man, this is crazy. What else do I have to go on? <laughs> this place is as real as I am. Recreated environments, petri dish. Please. In there. Find the emergency exit. No one ever tries the emergency exit. Be careful. G, I got your back. This is Earth Base to Major Kramer in the command ship. Please come in. We have no fleet left. No army. No militia. That's right. Wanna get drunk? Hey. Okay, guys. Hang on. We're entering the Martian atmosphere. Squid 
killer bank left. Try to make it to the mother ship. Do not get lost in this battle. We cannot waste our bio warheads. Flank left. We're gonna go in three in the box. Roger that, Alpha. Moonshine. Miles of tunnel. They'd catch you before you even got close. <laughs> I could have shown you once myself, but... <laughs> What's wrong with you, anyway? During the time that Sissy spent being their lab rat, she was like a superstar. Anything they threw at her, she, she survived. Mix of various bugs created a kind of super flu. How come it's not killing her? It is. Just slowly. So you caught it from her? Not exactly. I. They attacked before I could distribute it. I infected myself, but it was too late. So that's why Sissy went back on the ship. Resistance. Resistance? You, me, this half-dead guy in the psycho chip? <laughs> Look, all I care about is getting my kid back. Your son. Your son is just a tiny little piece of the puzzle, George. The question is, how far are you really willing to go to save him? the whole supply. With all the blood tainted, they won't survive long. That'll kill the ship. Eventually. But to bring it down fast would take a direct hit to the heart of the system. Even I don't know where that is. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> no thanks. <coughs> I do know where your son is, though, George. I know. You can set him free. Hold him again. It's a one-way street. You take it. Sissy show you right where he's at. <gasps> There's a better way. This dude's dying, man. I can't do this. <laughs> Tell me where my kid is, Shackleford. Tell me where my kid is.
You okay? We gonna figure this out, man. Stay with me. He knew where my kid was. He knew he was alive. And we'll find him. We're gonna find him. That was one of ours. Let's get Alex. This could be our ticket home, George. Yeah, if we find them. Let's, let's just find that door. We find that door, we find my kid. That girl would know. All we gotta do is find that psycho chick. <coughs> She's long gone. How'd you know? We could find her, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Finding psycho bitches is my specialty.
Get this bird out of here. Is there anybody else? Man, there's a gang of people back there. Okay, fire up your ship and gather up as many people as you can. We're taking off now. Let's go, guys. Let's get your dad out of here.
So where'd you learn to cook like that? <laughs> One of the benefits of spending time on KP. <laughs> Disciplinary action? Oh, I'm afraid so, sir. Well, it certainly worked to our benefit today. That was excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You finished, Alex? Excused. Sure. This whole thing's been hard on him. I mean, he's just a little boy. Yeah. I know. How you doing, buddy? Good. I know you got a lot on your mind. I just want you to know, Alex, that we're all friends here. If you have anything at all you want to talk about, you just let us know. Okay. This world's become a place where boys like you and I have to grow up fast. I'm really proud of the way you're handling things, Alex. I miss my dad. Yeah, I miss him too. Little man. I'll be damned. Dad, you're here! Oh, God, easy slug. He's held together with bubblegum and scotch tape, Alex. I'll take care of him. Counting on that, son. Major. George. Damn good to see you. <laughs> Pete! <laughs> My man! Welcome back. <laughs> good to see you, Vicky. What you got there, my man? My dad gave us me. So. <laughs> Come on. Looks like you guys have been eating well. Oh, yeah. Go on, get you something. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Coleman. How is it? It was touch and go for a while, but the infection's gone. Good. I think being back here is the best medicine. 